So now let's move on as we consider examples on indeterminate powers. Now let's try example 5. So we want to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the function e to the power x plus x raise the power 1 over x. So first of all, let's try direct substitution. So we have e to the power 0. We are going to plug in 0 wherever we see x plus 0 all exponents 1 over 0. Now e to the power 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have 1 to the power 1 over 0 is infinity. So we have 1 to the power infinity. Now we don't know what exactly this number is or this value is. And this is an indeterminate indeterminate power. Now because we didn't get or we don't have an indeterminate quotient, it means that we need to manipulate this function such that we have a fraction. So how are we going to do this? So first of all, we need to represent this function with another variable. So we say that let y be equal to e to the power x plus x all exponents 1 over x. So this is y. Next, we take the natural log of both sides. So we have ln of y equals ln of e to the power x plus x all exponent 1 over x. So therefore, we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln y to be equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln into bracket e to the power x plus x all exponent 1 over x. Now according to the properties of logarithms, we can transport the exponent to be behind the natural log. So we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over x times ln of e to the power x plus x. And then we can as well simplify this as the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of e to the power x plus x divided by x. So at this point, let's try direct substitution. So we are going to have ln of e to the power 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have ln 1 divided by 0. And then ln of 1 is 0. So we have 0 over 0. And this is an indeterminate an indeterminate quotient. So we have an indeterminate quotient. Therefore, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to this limit. So applying L'Hopital's rule to this limit, we say that this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of, we are going to differentiate both the numerator and the denominator. So at the numerator, we have, we differentiate this, what's in the bracket, and then we have e to the power x plus 1 divided by, we simply write what we have in the bracket at the denominator, and then we have that divided by derivative of x is 1. Now anything divided by 1 is actually the same thing, so we can simply clean divided by 1 and then we still have the same thing here. So this is as a result of applying the L'Hopital's rule. Now at this point, let's try direct substitution. So we are going to have e to the power 0 plus 1 divided by e to the power 0 plus 0 and that's equal to we have e to the power 0 
to be 1 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by we have e to the power 0 which is 1 plus 0 is still 1 therefore we say that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of y now remember that we are interested in finding the limit of y not the limit of ln of y so how do we find the limit of y now from properties from properties of logarithms or better still of the natural log we have e to the power ln of y to be equal to y so actually this is another way of representing y so that is e to the power ln of y equals y so with that we say that the limit as x approaches 0 plus or 0 from the right of y is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the power ln of y and that is equal to e to the power 2 now remember that initially we made y equals e to the power x plus x all exponent 1 over x therefore this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the power x plus x all exponent 1 over x so now let's move on to the next example so let's try to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the function cot x exponent sin x so first let's do direct substitution so we know cot x is equal to cos x over sin x and we have this all exponent sin x now cos 0 is 1 divided by sin 0 is 0 and then we have exponent 0 so that's going to be 1 over 0 we have infinity exponent 0 and this is an indeterminate indeterminate power now let's try to manipulate this function so that we can have an indeterminate quotient now because we have an indeterminate power first we say that we are going to let y be equal to cot x all exponent sin x and then we take the natural log of both sides and then we have ln of y equals ln of cot x exponent sin x and that becomes sin x times ln of cot x now let's put this in the limit so we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of y and that is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of sine x times ln of cot x also let's try direct substitution so sine 0 is 0 times we have cot x to be cos x over sin x so cos x over sin x gives infinity it gives infinity so we have 0 times infinity and we still have we still have an indeterminate power so we further need to manipulate this function now you realize that this can as well be represented as we have sin x times ln of cot x so we can say that we have this to be the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 
ln of cot x divided by 1 over sin x. Now, at this point, we can as well try direct substitution. So you realize that ln of cot x is going to be infinity in the sense that we have cot x to be infinity. Therefore, ln of infinity is still infinity. And then sin 0 is 0. So 1 over 0 is also infinity. So we have infinity over infinity. And this time we have an indeterminate quotient. Hence, we can apply L'Hopital's rule. Now, even before that, you need to realize that we can as well simplify this as the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of cot x, ln of cot x divided by 1 over sin x is cosec x. Now let's apply L'Hopital's rule. So that is equal to we have the limits as x approaches 0 from the right of we differentiate the numerator that is ln of cot x. So when you differentiate cot x, you have negative cosec square x divided by and then you just write what we have here at the denominator and then all of this divided by when you differentiate cosec x you have negative cosec x times cot x so that is equal to we are going to multiply this by that and then negative cancels out negative so we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of cosec square x divided by we are going to have cosec times cot square cosec x times cot square x so this cancels one of the cosec x and then we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of notice that cosec is 1 over 1 over sin x and then we are going to have that divided by cot square x and then cot square x is also cos square x divided by sine square x now because it is appearing at the denominator we are going to multiply this by the reciprocal of what we have here so that's going to be sine square x divided by cos square x so we have this cancelling one of this and then we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of of sine x divided by cos square x again let's try direct substitution let's try direct substitution so we have sine 0 divided by cos square 0 and that's equal to sine 0 is 0 and then we have cos 0 to be 1 so it's like 1 square and that's equal to 0 therefore we say that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of y is equal to 0. Now we know that from properties we have e to the power ln of y to be equal to y. That is the properties of natural log e to the power ln of y equals y. Therefore, since we are interested in finding the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of y, then we can say that that is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the power 
ln of y and that is equal to e to the power 0 now any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 therefore we say that the limit of y or better still the limit of cot x to the power sign x as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to 1 